It's Friday. Of course, you know what that means. We got new content and I'm going to be the show 23 Diamond Dynasty. And we do have a pretty good amount. We have a new rank season. We have a new chase pack. We have new players in other packs. And we have a, a lot of content coming up. So let's get into it. As always, let's look at the calendar. Today is June 9th. We have the Kaiju Takeover. So this is something brand new, which we're going to go check out in a little bit. But they added a bunch of new cards to the pack store. There is obviously a new ranked season. The rewards are Garrett Cole, Andre Dawson, and Carlos Correa. And there's new Tops Now cards. And then there are also Twitch drops this weekend. So make sure you guys watch all your favorite Twitch streamers if they're still on Twitch after the whole debacle with the advertisements i am so dumbfounded by twitch sometimes but regardless if you watch it you don't even have to be watching you just have to have the tab open and you claim your rewards and then you get free packs on tuesday the 13th we have a new br program with three flawless rewards and then on thursday so they're going to be doing content on thursday next week for the i don't want to say long weekend because father's day is on a sunday and it's not like an extra day but they, they i'm assuming they just want to have the weekend but regardless, on Thursday, we're getting a special Father's Day program, and we are getting new tops now, of course, and we are having a new event, the Have a Catch event, and there is a 12-win streak player reward. Those of you OGs who played MLB The Show, Diamond Dynasty, I think it was in, I think the last year they had win streak rewards in events was in 2018, MLB The Show 18, either 18 or 17. I'm really, I am interested to see how they play that because the event rewards have been horrible this year. So if they give us like a really good 99 that we can get for having a 12 win streak and it's not undefeated either, it's 12 and one, that would that would add a huge incentive to events. So it is June, obviously we just got the May monthly awards, but we get June tops now cards and I actually haven't looked at any of this. I typically just check them out real quick, but I just felt like doing everything blind. For the flashbacks, we have Edward Cabrera, circle change four seam slider, curveball sinker, great pitch mix, great per nines, pitch and clutch is 94, control is pretty bad, break is meh, but it's Edward Cabrera. He's If you played MLB 21, you, you get what I'm talking about. Jameson Tyone, sinker, knuckle curve, four seam circle change slider, has good hits per nine, pitch and clutch is a little lower. Um, and then Jared Walsh, okay, a diamond Jared Walsh, 94 overall. 101, 89 contact, 97, 104 power, 100 clutch, goal defense, not bad. And then Patrick Wisdom, 92, 95 contact, 109, 112 power, 90 clutch. The contact and power is probably not good enough for ranked seasons, but these are all pretty solid cards. Moving on to the players in the Tops Now program, we have Andrew Monasterio. Is that how you say that? Uh, but high contact, horrible power, gold defense. AJ Smith Shaver, is that how you say it? Relief pitcher. Okay, so we're actually getting a pretty solid reliever here. Four seam slider, curve, two seam. 111 hits per nine, 109 pitching clutch with 40 stamina. That's pretty high. And he has a okay control and break. Blake Perkins, 102, 96 versus right, 80, 80 versus left, 105 clutch. Silver defense, solid speed. Jake Berger, okay, this, this is what I'm talking about when we're talking about tops now cards. 101, 104 contact, 113, 101 power, 106 clutch. Very good hitter. And then we have Grant Anderson, slider four seam sinker circle change. Another reliever with high stamina, 106, 108 per nines, 109 pitching clutch. You could combine him and uh, Smith Shaver, however, however you say his name, on the Raleigh Fingers captain boost maybe, and maybe they could be really good. Corbin Carroll, 95, 91 contact. They completely ruined his, his power. That's annoying. 102 clutch has maxed out fielding reaction speed and aggressiveness though. And then the last card is Reese Olsen, slider, sinker, four seam, circle change, curveball, who is pretty balanced across the board. Is he outlier? No, he doesn't. And there was also a Kaiju takeover bundle at the end of the June Tops Now program. Moving to ranked seasons, I made World Series two days ago. Let's check out these World Series rewards first with Chef G, Garrett Cole. Okay, so Garrett Cole is looking pretty good. Four seam slider, knuckle curve, circle change, cutter. Has, okay, the controls is eh, the break is eh. I'm assuming he is no outlier, okay. 116 hits per nine, 114 pitching clutch, really good velocity. I think this is a good card, but I think there are better options for starting pitchers. Still a very good card and still like a really good pitcher, but 
but he is not as good as some other guys. We have Carlos Correa, 108, 125 contact, 102, 99 power, 125 clutch, amazing defense and good speed. This is a very good shortstop card. And then Andre Dawson, who the 90 power versus lefties is interesting for a World Series reward. 109, 125 contact, 101, 90 power with 99 clutch. Yeah, they kind of root. I don't want to say they ruined this card because it's still a very good card, but the 90 power in the 99 clutch really hurts him. Uh, yeah, the, honestly, not nearly as good as the last program. Let's check out the other guys though. 800, ooh, okay. Carlos Carrasco, cookie. <laughs> We're getting a free cookie. Uh, Don Mattingly, Donnie Baseball, high contact, low power. Of course, Don Mattingly is going to have low power because, I mean, he was a contact hitter. Nick Anderson, oh, pitch mix is horrible. Jason Bay, okay, pretty good against lefties. 120 clutch helps him. Does he have catcher? I don't know why. Uh, he does not have catcher. And then Barry Larkin, 90 overall, and Justin Morneau, 90 overall. Let's quickly just check out the program. Are the rewards still not sellable? Yes, they are. Okay. So they have not changed the non-sellable aspect of the program. Now, we have a pretty big change to the pack store. We have a Kaiju takeover. So basically every single pack kind of works like the chase pack, except in show packs. So also there is a new chase pack. Um, so, okay, I kind of am learning this as I go. So you can buy packs with the Kaiju. They all have Kaiju takeover. And what are the odds? So the jumbo packs, one to six of a 97 plus, one to two of a 90 plus. Wait, are there, okay, so who are the feature? Are there 90? Okay, so they're 90 overalls. I was about to say a live series 90 overalls. But yeah, so if you buy these packs, you're guaranteed a gold, should be guaranteed a diamond at least. One to two of the 90 overalls. Yes, so one to two of all these 90 overalls. And then one to two or one to six of the 97 pluses. So is that in every single pack? Okay, that's just for the jumbo. In the in the normal uh, show pack, it's one to 40 of an 85 plus, and then one to 100 of the 90s. And it's the same for the bundles, of course. So let's check out these players real quick. I'm gonna run through them fast because there are a ton of them. Let's start at the top, Masataka Yoshida. Okay, this is a very good card, wow. 125, 117, 103, 125 clutch. Obviously, 86 power hurts him. But this is a very good card. Also has good defense and speed. Buzzer boy. No, thanks. Uh, but jokes aside, Jose Altuve, this is a very good card. A guy who actually has a lot better power than you would think in MLB The Show. Okay, we have Trevor Hoffman. Whoa, okay. Max out, hits per nine, case per nine, pitch and clutch. Circle change, forcing cutter, slider. It's the uh, curveball. It's the typical Trevor Hoffman card. Jorge Polanco, so those are the 99s here, the 97s, Jorge Polanco, switch hitter, okay, we got Dalton Varsho, not good, I mean, if three of your four stats are in the 70s hitting wise, you're not going to be good enough, Herman Marquez, 93 hits per nine, 90 pitch and clutch is not good enough, and then Yasmani Grandal, so we finally got a diamond Yasmani Grandal, who I predicted, very good switch hitting catcher, we have Orlando Cepeda, okay, nice little contact hitter, 90 overall Hank Aaron, okay. And then Eddie Matthews, good against righties. Andrelton Simmons, horrible hitter, but obviously he's gonna be a really good defender. And Eric Gagne, okay, so Eric Gagne is probably the best 90 overall, just cause he's a good reliever, if you didn't get the 99. And then a 90 overall stand usual. And that's it for those cards. The new chase pack card is 99 Joe Maurer, he's insane. 125, 125 for contact right, contact left, and clutch has 116, 100 power, 108 vision, 102 discipline, pretty much maxed out fueling in everything. And he is 72 speed. This might be the best catcher card in MLB The Show history. We also got new diamond duos. The first one is Mike Lowell, 102, 81 versus righties, 125, 125 versus left, 93 clutch. And he is a pretty solid defender, can play third, first, and second, has solid speed. This card is pretty much only gonna be good against left. Okay, I don't wanna say only can be good, but if you have him in against lefties and, it, and clutch doesn't come into a factor, this is a very good card. But the stats versus righties and the clutch, or the power versus righties and the clutch is kind of ruining this card. He's going for around, yeah, around 40k. And then we have Dennis Eckersley. This card is very good. Eck, slider, sinker, four-seam curveball. 
125 hits per nine, 125 walks per nine. I mean, that control is insane. You're gonna be dotting the corners with this card. So I've just noticed that packs that I earned in the past have transformed into Kaiju Takeover packs, which is interesting. We have a bunch of Diamond Duos. I didn't actually open this one, which we're gonna get a pack, Diamond Duos 8. I'm not buying any packs. It's still not worth it, especially no money spent. Let's see if we can pull some chase backs and maybe get Joe Maurer, but let's see if we can pull some Kaiju Takeover cards. So I actually just checked out these prices for these Kaiju, uh, whatever it's called, the Kaiju Takeover cards. And they don't seem that expensive. I mean, Yoshida was going for a lot, but Altuve, and look, they just came out, but Altuve and, God, who's the third? Hoffman, they were going for like 40K. Um, so I, I would like to say this, if you are still trying to work on that set two collection, which is almost all of us, because, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to spoil it. I'm getting Randy Johnson today, and I'm probably going to debut him tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that, but I'm going to need to buy a couple cards. A lot of these cards are going to be really cheap, especially the 90 overalls. So go buy them. But let's 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 see if we can get a Kaiju Takeover card. And it is blue. So wait, no, it's not. It's wait, is that am I tripping? Is this just a live series card? It's Jordan Alvarez. I don't know why I said it was blue. It was purple. So make sure you guys start buying these Kaiju players either for the set two collection or just as an investment because. They're going to go up in price because eventually they're going to be gone and I'm sure they're going to put them in a flash sale and it'll drop their price eventually. But you're going to want to start buying these cards because they're not going to be in the game for that long, I would assume. Another diamond. Please, I don't care if it's a 90 overall, I just want to get a Kaiju Takeover card. It's blue. Okay. That probably means it's a Kaiju Takeover unless we pull a really good live series card. And it is... who is that? Is that Stan Musial? Now look, it's basically like getting a quick sell diamond in a normal pack, but it's just cool to see something different. He's 8k. I just checked. He's yeah, he's literally quick sell. He's 8k, but it's cool. We we pulled a kaiju. Uh, God, I keep forgetting what it's called. The kaiju takeover card. So the rest of those packs were trash, but we have four bond packs and a couple diamond duo packs. Anything out of the bonds? I wonder if you can pull the kaiju takeover cards out of these. Okay, supercharged Luis Arise. And another double gold. Last one. Diamond? Nope. Alright, so we have four different diamond duo packs. I'm not going to slander them anymore because I pulled three. No, I pulled two out of them out of the diamond duos. One of them out of a ball pack. Let's just see what we can get. And we get nothing out of that one. Pack four. I, at this point, I just completely forget who's in which pack. Pack eight. Can we at least get a gold? There we go. Now can we work up to a diamond? Pack 16, no we cannot. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you're new here, follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. But most importantly, make sure you subscribe right here on YouTube. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.